right. Today I'm going to be going over my hunting setup for the year. Now, last year was a little different. I didn't have the muddy camera arm and the Sony a7 II. I had a Canon Rebel T3i and a camera arm that my buddy Jace fabricated for me, which worked out. But I think this is going to change the game a little bit. It might be a little bit easier setting up. I opened the box and looked at it. I didn't get to take it out and start uh, trying to figure it out. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go in the backyard and put this thing together. And we're going to go over it. And just... I'm just kind of go over how easy it is to set up and also want to talk about this camera because last year I used the Canon T3i like I said and this is the Sony a7 II which if you're looking for a good mirrorless camera that is not going to be too too expensive that's a really good one to have and I'm just go over why I switched over from the Canon to this Sony right here let's do it Cut them go getters on, we. All right, let's go, dude. It's been out here for like a week. This is a deer cane that I bought at Tractor Supply and a sack of corn. And usually, when I put corn back here, the deer are on it in a few days. I put this deer cane on it. Nothing's touched it. Maybe I'm using it wrong. I don't know. Somebody else has used that stuff. Let me know what the heck I'm doing wrong. Oh, dude, this is Tick City. And I didn't spray. Let's get on. This looks like a good tree right here. All right, so this is what you get whenever you open a pack. You got your camera arm, your little tree bracket right here. And this actually comes off of here. I'm gonna go over that in just a second. You get a ratchet strap. And this looks like a little base plate. Pretty sure that's what that is and one thing you are going to need is this you can pick these up on amazon for like 20 bucks it's just a little base plate and all of this is adjustable so you can move your little camera around and it comes with the plate that goes on the camera itself so this is going to be a must-have for um this setup in particular all right let's put this thing on the tree now i have not like I don't read directions. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna set this GoPro up and get cracking. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna get this ratchet strap out of here. Don't litter people. Put your trash back in your pocket. All right. Okay, awesome. Now, it's obviously gonna be a little different whenever you're in a tree, but basically, I think it's probably the best way to do it. Let's go ahead and lean, which, if your seat was right here, I would want it on my I would want it on my right. Let's just say I'm hunting this way. What? Dude. That's already better than that one I had last year. Sick. I wish I had that one with me so I could show y'all. Ah. Now I got the actual camera arm itself. Just slaps in there like that. Dude, that's pretty nice. All right, now this this is not standard camera size right here. I'm not sure what size that is. And doesn't look like my insert on that one is going to fit. This looks like it will, so. Like, I film every hunt. That's the goal this year especially, is to try and film every single hunt this year I recommend getting the GoPro that thing is the GoPro 8 to be specific dude it's amazing you can do everything on that now I don't need this little base plate I'm not even sure why it's on there this is gonna be the one you need 
for most base plates this is the um standard size all right all this is pretty self-explanatory like everything else this comes with directions i don't read directions don't read them don't need them all right now i got my little base plate here go ahead and spin this dude on all right cool dude that is amazing all right so basically from a stand perspective i'm in my tree stand this is actually a pretty good height for me where i would want my camera i'll be able to see my little screen right here now filming your own hunts is tough enough as it is um adding a bow in the mix makes it even tougher obviously let me go ahead and loosen this up a little bit okay but dude this is a game changer now oh what all right i gotta figure out what to do about this okay so these little latches have set screws on them need to be much tighter oh yeah It also comes with a little uh, bubble level here, which I'm a little off, but I'm not going to cry about it. But anyway, like I was saying, dude, this is amazing. Let's say I'm 20 feet up in the air. This thing here faces pretty far down. Wish I had the name brand of this. Ah, there you go. Newer. Boom. There you go. Dude, that thing's not tight enough. All right. All right, so I'm going to go get the Sony and put it on here. And just kind of go over why I'm using it this year as opposed to that Canon T3i which multiple reasons it's a much nicer camera the Canon T3i does not have autofocus so I was constantly having to focus it while I was in the stand and um, that just was a pain in the butt but this is basically what it looks like on the tree once you are all set up and you got a whole range of motion dude that is sick I know everybody's like, well, dude, I've been having a, a, a muddy camera on. Bro, the one I used last year, it did its job, but this is like 10 times better for me. All right, I'm going to go get the camera. For anybody who has not been filming their own hunts and wants to start, a oh, fair warning. This is common sense right here, but if you live here in the South, something you're going to always have a problem with. If you take your camera directly out of your truck with the air conditioner on or straight out of your house and you jump into the woods... You can always deal with your lens fogging up. Now what I like to do is set my camera out. I didn't do that today. It's a big mistake. But I like to set my camera out on the porch for a little while. So that way by the time I'm ready to go. Um, the camera's already. Whatever you want to call it. Defogged. But there's no more fog in the lens. And I'm ready to rock. So I'm going to give this a couple minutes. Because I want to put it on the camera. And just see the smoothness of, of it moving around. On the, um, the camera arm itself. And... I'm just kind of go over some settings I use on this thing while I'm hunting, which I actually haven't used this in a hunting scenario yet. This will be my first year with the A7 II, but I've set it up already. They got custom buttons on here. You can um, set them to do whatever you like. And something Sony did, which is not that great, is they put their re standard recording button right there on the side of the grip. It's not optimal. I changed it to this c3 at the top and uh we'll just give this a minute to stop being foggy dude hurry up finally that's why you want to put that thing outside dude that took like 10 minutes anything eat it yet no what's new whoops there we go all right so Put your little base plate on your camera like so. I apologize, dude. I got the sniffles today. Okay. 
that looks good. Slide that dude on there like that. Tighten her up. Awesome. Now. Dude, that's cool. I probably sound like a nerd, dude, but I'm excited. Last year I was using the onboard um, camera mic. This is a hundred bucks or so. It's amazing. I highly recommend getting this or the video mic, uh, the Rode Video Mic Go. No, the Video Micro. This is the Rode Video Mic Go. And it picks up audio pretty good. I'm going to go through with the camera and just kind of like whisper into it just to see what the uh, sound quality is like with the um, road while you're in the woods as opposed to the onboard microphone. I'm going to do a comparison because one thing I noticed is the onboard mic picks up a lot more background noise than the um, shotgun mic here. Because this is focused in a uh, particular direction. It's the it, it doesn't pick up sound from from all the way around here just out of the front and the onboard mic I'm not sure where it is on this camera. It might be right here But it's Picks up everything like I'm sure you can hear a cicada right now in the background and that is almost deafening with this uh, Onboard microphone on the camera when you're in the woods All right, let's see what the camera looks like while it's on the arm itself. All right so this is the Sony a7 on the camera arm it's not exactly level that's pretty good right there this is probably where it pays to have your bubble level on this camera on now I shoot everything on this camera in auto when I'm hunting just because it's you can't be messing around with settings and stuff while you're sitting there trying to you got a bow in your hand the only thing I think is going to be a problem is this let me see if I can get the camera to do it. Now, in a realistic scenario, let's just say there's a deer behind some brush right here. If I was going to zoom in, the camera's probably going to, the autofocus is probably going to pick up on this brush and not the deer in the background. Oh, got a phone call. I wonder who it is. Let's see. What's up, bro? Oh, you want to check that camera? <laughs> no, not yet. Not today. What you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go try to shoot some pigs this afternoon. Huh? On my way. Okay, come on. In the kitchen whipping up breakfast, bro. Catch a couple of deers okay. out there. Got the mask, got the monster right there. Wait. Shoot back. Smoke him. I said, bro. Yeah. Let me finish this right quick. I'm Let's almost do done. It. All right. Uh, picks up pretty good it's about as loud as I want to be talking while I'm in the stand um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the mic off and just show y'all what it sounds like without the microphone on and you can hear a lot more background noise I find one thing I forgot to mention is you're gonna want to set this camera set uh, your focus settings on your camera for center if you use wide view autofocus what it's going to do is pick up random things to the left and right pretty much what's closest or what stands out more using the the center focus will keep everything essentially in the middle and focus and uh, I find that works out really good for interviews whenever you're in the stand and whenever you have an, a subject out in the field and you want to be focused just on that that works out pretty good too